Welcome to another fun episode of which truck is best for you and right now I have a brand new 2021 GMC Canyon 84 off-road truck versus this the brand new Ford Ranger FX4 and we've been doing a series of these videos and in the last one I compared the Canyon to a Chevy Colorado but this time it's Ford versus General Motors. In this video I'm gonna go over all the specs, all the features and at the end I'm gonna tell you exactly which truck I would pick and in the comments below you tell me which truck would be best for you. And this video would not be possible without our friends at Brighton Ford Colorado. Here's their website. Hey guys, did you know we recently just started a new channel, TFL Bike, for all the latest and greatest in bike reviews? And that's perfect because I just got my motorcycle endorsement, but uh, the team is not going to let me ride this beautiful Triumph. Even though I have the sweatshirt for it, take a look, I think this is probably, probably more my speed, this little Honda 125. Although, to be honest, I'll probably kill myself on this one too, so uh, maybe I should probably... Uh, just, just stick with the bicycle here. And check out TFL Bike for independent and honest reviews. Here we go. So let's start by looking at the trucks. So let's start with the GMC and then go to the Ford. So obviously these two trucks are currently the most off-road worthy versions of each. This is the 84 GMC Canyon. It's a crew cab, it's got a short bed five foot bed it's got really beefy tires it's got specially tuned suspension specifically for off-roading and um, you can get this truck in many different versions you can get a slightly longer bed you can get a actually a shorter cab uh, and you can get a couple of engine options uh, speaking of engine options let's look under the hood really quick so this one right here is gas powered so this is a 3.6 liter gas V6, 308 horsepower and 275 pound-feet of torque. So this V6, it has a lot more horsepower than the turbocharged four-cylinder engine in the Ford, but less torque. This truck has an eight-speed automatic transmission behind it. And of course, we'll compare it to the Ranger. So let's walk around and let's see exactly what this Ranger is all about. By the way, both of these trucks are well they're actually not very close on price the way you see them here they're within about three thousand dollars of each other but they're both um over forty two thousand the gmc canyon 84 you see right there it's about forty two thousand six hundred this ranger right here has the fx4 package like i told you it also has the black appearance package as you can see which is actually a two thousand dollar option so this truck is about forty five thousand six hundred um, if you removed the black trim, um, you would lose about 2,000 bucks. So that would be about 43,600. So actually they're within about a thousand bucks of each other, so to speak. Uh, but this is also a crew cab with a short bed, five foot bed. So orient, um, configuration wise, these two trucks are remarkably close to each other. Let's just take a look under the hood really quick. There's only one engine option. Uh, for the Ranger in the United States. Currently, uh, this is a 2.3 liter straight four turbocharged engine, 270 horsepower and 310 pound-feet of torque. And it's made it to a 10-speed automatic transmission. So only one powertrain here. In the Canyon, you can also get a, a turbo diesel engine, a 2.8 liter with a six speed. So you have a few options. If you want more fuel efficiency, you would have to buy a diesel engine in the Canyon uh, but it will cost you, of course, more because diesel engines um, have a higher starting price. Uh, fuel efficiency. I told you uh, the canyon is about, what, 19 city, 24 highway. This truck is 20 city, 24 highway. So a little bit better fuel efficiency because it's a smaller displacement engine. And if you're not in it, if you're not asking for power on this Ranger, uh, then it can be a fairly efficient truck. 22 MPG combined here and 21 MPG combined in the Canyon. So yes, the Ranger has a slight edge on fuel efficiency. 
let's look at the front ends. So I told you in the very beginning, these are both off-road versions of these trucks. Uh, the FX4 edition in the Ford um, gives you a different front end. So um, regular Ranger would have a kind of a deeper air dam in the front. Um, the FX4 does not. Instead, a pretty beefy steel skid plate. Uh, and of course, this is kind of a, this is a black appearance package. So this is blacked out. Normally this would be silver. Um, it's another uh, point to differentiate the FX4 edition. Uh, for 2021, starting next year, uh, Ford is also introducing the Tremor version of the Ranger, which is actually even more off-road worthy uh, with slightly wider stands due to the wheel offsets, even higher suspension, uh, better angles of approach, different tires. So, but that truck is not here yet. So that's why we're comparing these trucks. Uh, before we look at the um, features on the inside, let's walk around the back. And let's actually take a look at the uh, beds. So this is the Ranger, this is bed lined. Um, and there's actually four tie down points. I don't know if you can see uh, in each corner of the bed and additional places to put some additional tie downs. Like I said, it's a five foot bed option. Um, and this is basically the only option you can get with a crew cab. Um, maximum towing on the Ranger is 7,500 pounds, which is a little bit more actually than the towing rating on the V6 Canyon. That truck is at 7,000. This is 7,500. Um, but let's look at the payload, 1,386. Um, if memory serves me, the Canyon is 1,433. So they're very close. This is a Lariat edition of the Ranger. You can tell by kind of the leather seats leather trimmed steering wheel. It's their kind of highest end, currently top of the line. There is no such thing as a Ranger King Ranch or a Limited or a Platinum. Uh, this Lariat FX4 black appearance package is kind of the top dog. The Tremor is coming next year, still like I said. Right here we have obviously remote open, remote start, alarm system, key fob, push button start in the Ranger. Uh, this seat is power, power adjustable, obviously pretty standard stuff. Um, this, the overall, the dash design on the Ranger is a little dated. It's very similar to some of the overseas Ford Rangers, but that's okay. I mean, they still have the latest sync system. This is their infotainment system with navigation, apps, um, device integration, etc. All of your settings, but I want to talk about off-road features uh, too high for high for low you got a terrain management mode which goes from normal to grass gravel snow mud and ruts and sand so different transmission traction control system settings um, and you can just twist them up pretty easily and down here check it out you have rear selectable locker you have your of course traction control tow mode and crawl control this button right here which actually allows you allows the truck to accelerate and brake between about one and five miles per hour in four low and between about one and 20 miles per hour in four high basically off-road cruise control all you're doing is steering this feature is also available like in the truck like the Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro it's available here in the Ranger FX4 so that's a pretty nice feature and you can always lock your rear differential by pushing a button, which is a pretty nice feature, I think, because the driver decides when the rear differential is locked or open. If you're stuck, you want it locked. And this truck also has some of the other driver assistance features uh, like lane departure warning and adaptive cruise. So kind of fully optioned, like I said, about 45,000 for this truck. If you remove the black appearance package, it's about 43 and change. So. Let's quickly jump in in the canyon and see. All right, here in the canyon, well, kind of a similar key setup, also remote, remote start, I'm sorry, but an actual key, there's no push button. Uh, very similar layout, still a center console mounted transmission shifter, obviously heated seats. This is your tow haul mode. Hill descent control, 
but the GMC Canyon does not offer a full crawl control mode like the Ford does. There's still though lane departure warning, still your traction control button, and this doesn't have a selectable locker. This truck has a G80 automatically locking rear differential, but it has a heated seat, uh, steering wheel, heated seats, really nice. Um, the steering wheel feels really nice and comfortable, has a bow stereo system, but I think as far as selectability, I prefer the Ford because you have a rear locker that's selectable and crawl control, which is pretty cool. Crawl control on the Ford works forward and reverse. So those are nice features. And I, I would bet when GM redesigns their midsize trucks, probably within two years, that's the current rumor, I'm sure they will step up all of their technologies in a huge way. So this truck right here does not have a bed liner. It's optional. You can add that, of course, from the factory. This one also doesn't have the brake controller or the two inch receiver. So it doesn't have a towing package. Um, so if you were to add those two things, the price would be just over 43 grand. And like I told you over there, you're also just over 43 grand. So very comparable price, which is why I'm pretty happy about this comparison. And like I said, the GMC has a little bit more uh, payload, but less towing. Let's finish up with the tires. I saved the best for last. Uh, Off-road trucks are, you know, it's very important to have good traction off-road. The Ford offers these Hancock Dynapro ATMs. Of course, these blacked out wheels. But the tire is not very aggressive. I don't know if you can see that. It's more of a kind of a, I wouldn't really call it all-terrain, more an all-season, really good all-season tire. Uh, this is what I call an aggressive all-terrain. This is a Goodyear Wrangler Dura track. You can see the spacing between the lugs, there is siping, um, there's protection on the sidewall that's very pronounced, um, and it's a slightly taller tire than here. So, as far as tires are concerned, uh, between FX4 and AT4, uh, GMC currently has the upper hand. So, we went over all the features, powertrains, capabilities, off-road features. So I would, if I had to choose right now with about 43,000 bucks, I would pick the Ranger. So first of all, I like the better approach angle in the front. The GMC Canyon still offers that front chin spoiler that you have to remove manually. But even so, the approach angle is not great. I like the selectable locker in the Ford. I love its performance because the turbocharged engine, especially in Colorado, has really good power. It has a slightly better fuel efficiency rating and a little bit more towing on the Ranger. And for those reasons, it's Ranger for me today. And guys, go back to tfloffroad.com and tfltruck.com for all the latest news views and real world truck reviews.